Welcome back, everyone. Grumpy Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Take. I'm gonna take this jacket off because we're we're extremely hot. <laughs> let's, let's see if we can cool that down a little bit. We don't have a ton of time left in this day, but I'm gonna try and go into this storage area over here. See if we can find anything. Because it would be very nice if we could get some st storage unit kind of stuff. Generator would be amazing. That is just a laundromat. I don't care about that. Hey, a shovel. Just in a box right here. That's kind of weird. Alright, there was a, like a lot of them on this fence. Yes? No? Where'd they all go? Oh, they all decided to go to there. The door instead. I think I might just wait for these guys to break the door down on their own. Like that. See, no problem. Nope, you need to stay down. Oh, you got desert boots? Yeah, let's wear some desert boots. Desert boots are the same as the military boots we're wearing, but not as warm. Less less insulation. DE pistol. Alright, let me just throw these things on the ground. I will probably never remember they're there. They're probably lost to time. But at least they're an option. Hey, they broke the door around for me. Alright, let's see if we can get either of these zombies to give us keys. Ooh, or this guy. Zombie trick. Zomboid trick. You kill zombies inside of a building, they have a chance to spawn the key for that building. Which is very helpful. Of course, not gonna work today because it's being mean. You're at time. <laughs> Multiple floors. Brick toys. That actually sounds like the zombies in the some chairs, some plastic blue chairs. Sounds like the zombies in the elevator. But they're probably just upstairs. Fertilizer, some scrap. We have a storage unit full of videotapes. That's what I need. There's the generator I was looking for. Not that we know how to use it yet, but theory. Oh, another one. One for the. Uh, there's the key. See, told you. Um, now that's one for the. Uh, Gas station. We'll come back for those. Actually, you know what, let me grab one right now. So that should let us open these outside things. Just leave it right here. Right here for the moment. Oh, they busted that one down. Oh, a lot of junk in there. This would be a pretty good place for a base, too, I gotta say. I still think ours is better. But, you know. It's got lots of fencing. Can't complain with that. Other strips, huh? 
another generator. Some more blue plastic chairs. Green comfy chow couch, one of two. Can't reach the stuff behind there. Oh, uh, mannequin. That's what we need. Winter hat, winter clothes, fishing line, fishing tackle. Did I go in this one already? No, I just opened the door. The trowel, because I'm not entirely sure we have one yet. Jars! We started wanting to get into canning. Just leave her be. are open by default. Oh, there she goes. Finally busted your way in, huh? Where'd that other zombie just go? Oh, no, that was a different zombie. Okay. Ah, there you are. See, sometimes these sometimes these are open. Will be like one or two that are open. Not apparently this storage unit, but other ones. And then you can use them as the, for the trick of uh, getting the, the the key to spawn. But not today, I guess. There goes the zombie that direction. All right, let's go check the upper floor in here. Fitness contraption. Workout space, huh? Eh, something to be said for our need for a workout area. Get a fitness contraption, try and find ourselves some free weights. Man, we got all the all the uh all the generators we could ever need. Hey, there you go. Fitness Club Episode 4. I don't know if that's something. Blood in the Hood. Oh man, none of the rest of these are useful. I will take them all, however. Got excited for a second. I don't know if that's a fitness, if that, that tape has, actually does anything fitness-wise. Cool if it did. Storage units, man. That's where it's at. Alright, what do we got? We got a military camo stuff. So just shirts. The propane torch. Chrome toaster. You know what? I can't carry it right now. That used to be another prized piece of equipment that you didn't find that that often was the to the small toasters. Hey, there you go. Big big hiking bag. See you later, small hiking bag. Big hiking bag is my boss now. Okay. 
cool. You know what I see? It's 1800. There was what? Is it in here? Where was it? One of these had a TV in it. Here? No? Watch the 1800 TV sh 1800 show. Never go faster than times two when you're watching TV shows, or you miss some of the the um, bumps. Which apparently, we're not going to get one now anyway, so it doesn't matter. But you miss some of the the skill up levels if you go faster than times two speed. So never go faster than times two speed. Cross stick. Concrete powder. Literally nothing. Hunting magazine we haven't read. We could really go for some more desert boots. Really go for the uh, generator book. Just saying, game. They're looking for things to give me. Riverside map. I don't think we've added Riverside to the to the mix yet. Fitness contraption. I think it's the next door. Fishing net I will take. I guess I'll take a fishing rod. Oh, not that one. It's in bad shape. I don't know where there's water from here unless we go all the way over to the lake. But good to know, I guess. Sheets. Fertilizer. Did I check all this other stuff? I think I've been in these already. Yeah. Alright, we're getting very tired. Let's get out of here. Oh, excuse me, lady. Didn't see you there. Is she coming out? Is she offended that I ran into her? No, she doesn't seem to care. So we now have a generator. It's not going to be very useful for us until we have the book to do it, but one step at a time. <laughs> and so one, one of the things I'm slightly worried about with regards to the generator is that I'm not sure it can hit the whole base with its radius. <laughs> Those generators have a certain radius they can they stretch out, and I'm not entirely sure that unless we put it maybe in the middle on the roof when it's time, I'm not sure it's going to be able to hit the whole thing. Alright, who still needs curtains? You do. Alright, now let's see here. Yes, this is the last day. They're going to talk about pancakes and waffles, and then it'll be over. Yeah, pancakes or waffles. And then it bizzes it out, and it's over. And it's over. I am a cow. It's all over. Useful TV's over. Now we need to have his tapes. Should have made more use of it while it was useful. You know, give me this fried chicken. I'm gonna eat that when it thaws out. Thaws out. They follow me home. No. Here you are. Oh, you're right here. <laughs> Hello, zombies. Let's deal with you. So our, our the condition on our pickaxe is getting a little, little bad. 
It's down to like less than a quarter. So let's see if we can find another one real quick. If I can find some uh, wood glue, which we actually have back at the base. If I can find some wood glue in one of these crates, I think I might, I might attempt to repair. Let's see how it works out. Like that. Our skill's not great, so it's probably not going to be the best repair in the world, but it'll be something. Oh, that wasn't too bad. All that time I was looking for a hard hat, there was one in these crates here. If I had just actually uh, looted properly, I could have found that out. Oh well. More plaster. Good. So what I'm talking- oh, hello sledgehammer. Um, I'll take you with me too. What I was talking about with uh, regards to the plaster in uh, maybe two episodes ago was is that when you get- when you get- uh, Probably good enough. When you get things to top level, when you get uh, carpentry to top level, or to almost top level, I think it's level eight that it starts. Whenever you can make level four walls, you can you can plaster and paint those walls, which makes them look much nicer. Makes them look like real real walls, basically. Just barricade everything a little bit. Just so we don't get surprises. That's all of it. Oh. Um, sledgehammer, let me just, let's just place the sledgehammer right here. My friend, chicken's ready. Alright, we're down to four days until the thunderstorm. There it is. Air activity detected. That's what I was waiting on. Time to get out of here. Um, give me some food, because I don't know if we'll be back right away. So the point of this is to get out of the area so that when the helicopter arrives, it does not bring a million zombies to our doorstep. You can bring it to some other person's doorstep. I don't know when today it's gonna, it's sometime in the next 24 hours. Oops. Come on. There we go. We're just gonna get out of here and we'll worry about it later. So I'm gonna head towards the entry to Louisville because one of the things I would like to get since we're going to be out anyways, one of the things I would like to get my hands on is a um, some of these big water barrels that exist. Um, I think only, as far as I'm aware, the only confirmed places they exist are in the immediate vicinity of the of the entry to Louisville. So, so we're going to work our way that direction, which I just know generically which way. I think I might I might head west here to the to the river and then work our way south from there Ooh, that uh, school bus is is humping the other that other car busier out here than it was near home because the, the population has been growing in a way that it hasn't been next to our house. Oh, I saw a motorcycle helmet there for a second, which would be nice, but I don't really want to stop for it. It's a little, little too busy.
Alright, so I think this is the proper area. But I believe these houses are like the mansions right along the lake. A river. I don't know why I can't decide whether... <laughs> my brain can't decide whether it's a lake or a river. Oh, I've seen- I've seen other people using this house right here as a... as a safe house. Cause it's got these, like, th this, like, triple garage thing going on. It looks pretty cool, but... I like my... my home's more industrial. You know what? Looking at the time, I'm gonna stop here... today. I know is a little bit of a tease, but yeah, we're gonna stop here for today, and we will uh, we'll pick it up next time. Thanks so much for joining me.